He blows his whistle and we're off. Oh no, we know it's full start here at Stonebridge Road. This time gets us underway and it's uh, Maycock. Is it back to goalkeeper Mark Cousins? Cousins all in pink, his opposite number in orange. Handle into Sisse. Sisse. Tall, rangy figure in midfield. Rings down Osborne. That should be a booking. And it is. First incident of the game, coming in the second minute. Silly booking for Cisle, he lost possession into the arms of Mark Cousins. Cousins rolls the ball out to the right wing, but it's going to be too much for Sterling James, and uh, Craig is there to get it back to his goalkeeper, sinking. In trouble, it's with Polian, he's offside, and Polian thought he may have set Sterling James free but the lines on the far side decided that was an offside position for Sterling James and the fourth official makes a note of the amount of time to be added last week I was at Dartford and there was a total of 18 minutes across the two halves added so, uh, if you're thinking of going out before 5 o'clock think again Edsa lovely ball forward to Courthurst Courthurst edge of the box can't quite keep control and the ball runs free Pollyon wins it back but the referees decided Pollyon's challenge was a little unorthodox Clifford came on at Rochdale last week I'm sure he's likely to be involved later today here's Martin takes it on his chest then drills it forward for Pollyon to get behind the fullback Pollyon's in the box can he get towards the goal? He's in the six-yard box. Polion, and it's taken off his toes. It was good goalkeeping by Simkin. And Polion drove into the box this season. There's Newton, long, near post. Sol is there to head clear. Sterling James is pursuing it, but uh, they're going to get it back to Newton. Now Osborne. Newton. Polion's back there trying to defend so is Edsa but the ball crossed in Sully gets ahead to it it goes out wide on the left Warburton picks it up Sully player coach here at Ebsley Kundal Kundal runs into trouble and the ball runs free oh and that was a bad challenge on Stevens by by Joe Martin I think Martin may find himself in the book Martin, that was a pretty ugly challenge, and it's actually think they've got so much longer to play in the second half. Sisse and Stevens takes out Solly, and Stevens is going to be spoken to by the referee. And uh, well, Stevens dishing it out as well as taking it, and the referee books Stevens. Larson who got the equaliser last week in time added on. Stevens gives chase. Oh, it's a good ball inside to Newton. Newton hits the post. Well, that was a good run by Newton. Martin. Right. Candle with Martin overlapping. Now Edsa. It's the edge of the box. Edsa. Polion. Oh, it's called Hurst with a shot just wide. <laughs> Simkin takes the goal kick. He's looking for Warburton in the middle, but he was beaten by O'Neill. Edsa, Edsa with O'Neill free. O'Neill, that's too far ahead of him. Edsa misjudged that. 
Courthurst. Courthurst doing well to shield the ball, but the referee won't give a free kick for shirt pulling. O'Neill caught in possession. O'Neill's in trouble. The ball now with Solihull. Solihull got men coming forward. The ball dropping and blocked by Solly as Osborne pulled the trigger. Be taken by Osborne. It's level with the edge of the area. Osborne. The ball drops to Edsa. He partially clears it. Comes to Ben. Now Osborne again. Osborne drills it in, but Sisse's there to send it out for another throw. Polion bundled over by Morrison, but uh, the referee allows play to continue. Maycock. Polion coming back to help out his defence. Here's Ben. Oh, what a goal! A brilliant goal! Header from Matty Warburton puts the visitors in front. 38 minutes on the clock, and Matty Warburton makes it 1 0 to Solly Hull. Silence the fleet fans. Here's Osborne, right footed, delivering it close to the keeper. Cousins takes a comfortable take for him, and his ball is launched downfield. Polion getting behind the defender. Polion being pushed over, but the referee says no. Here's Edsa, Edsa! Edsa's in the box. Edsa brought down. Surely, no, the referee says no penalty. Edsa brought down from behind. Takes it himself goes out of play and that's going to be it for half time they go in at the break Ebsleet nil Solihull Moors won and we'll be back in about 15 minutes extra at the end of the first half and uh, he's got us underway with Ebsleet in red shirts white shorts and red socks are attacking the plough end Cundall cuts inside Martis edge of the box here's Sterling James Sterling oh what a save a brilliant save by Tommy Simkin on loan from Stoke City, the goalkeeper dived to his left and turned the goal away for, or turned the ball away for, to O'Neill. O'Neill finds Sterling. Sterling cuts away from Newton. Newton stays with him. Sterling James keeps the ball, lets it run to Edsa. Now Martin, absolute pressing in numbers. O'Neill coming in at the back stick. Oh, it's going to be cleared away by Craig. Goes for an absolute throw. It's all one way traffic at the moment. Solly taken out after the ball was played by Osborne. And Osborne surely will get a booking for this. And Osborne has uh, made himself known. Osborne picks it up. Candle comes back with him. And well, Osborne manhandles Cundall to the floor, and the referee says, Play on. It's a shot, and it's a goal. Solihull take a 2 0 lead. Solihull capitalising on hesitation in the Ebsleet defence. And Ebsleet, well, they thought they should have got a free kick in the build up to that goal. But they're now 2 0 down after 52 minutes and Sully Hull celebrate the ball trickling over the line and it's Clark with the throw down the line Sully heads clear and there was a nudge in the back there from Martin down goes Stevens as if he's had an axe put through his head and the referee gives a free kick with Newton on the far side on the right hand side of the Solihull attack. It's Osborne with the delivery, and it's a good one. Goes over everybody. Started so brightly in the first 20 minutes, but since then they found it hard going. Sisse to Courthurst. Courthurst sees the ball run away from him slightly. He's got McQueen inside of him. There's McQueen. McQueen. Polion. Polion had nowhere to turn because the defender wrapped himself. 25 minutes to get something out of the game. McQueen on the right hand side. N Newton, Newton brings him down. And that surely is a booking along the goal side. So Edsa, left footed, delivery, near post, headed away by Beck, the substitute. Back to Clifford. O'Neill. 
Mafuta is in front of him. Newton. Now McQueen. McQueen in the box. Oh, he hits the post. He hit the post. Clip. Candle. The upright. At the same end, maybe that's a sign of things to come. Here's Candle. Candle, strike the ball. He does. It's a goal. Candle scores. Greg Candle makes it 2 1. Greg Candle. Seventy three minutes on the clock. It's two one. Clifford teasing Beck. Now O'Neill. McQueen out wide. O'Neill inside Polion. Polion couldn't get to it before the keeper. Brave goalkeeping by Simkin. Interfered way too much. Martin down the line to goal scorer Candle. He drops over his shoulder. He gets away from his marker. He's in the box. Candle. Candle is still in possession. Inside to Clifford. Clifford goes down. No foul. Edsa wins the ball back for Candle. Candle crosses. Comes off a defender. Does it go? No, it doesn't go out of play. To Clifford again. Clifford without too many options. O'Neill's one. Now McQueen. Good running by O'Neill. So McQueen. McQueen, surely. No, he's got a got a corner. Courthurst can't get above Beck. Sully's there. Sully's brought down in the box, but the referee says no foul. Sully wins the ball while he's on the floor, and the referee awards a free kick to Sully Hull. The players cannot understand it. The fans have got no explanation for it. To O'Neill. O'Neill forces the ball out to McQueen on the right-hand side. Craig is with him. McQueen gets it across. Oh, Adokinero on the roof of the crossbar. Sends the ball out for a throw-in. Ebsley just coming up short today. McQueen. Inside to Edsa. Back to McQueen, to Edsa again. Here's McQueen. O'Neill sent him into the box. Oh, Clifford over the stand roof. Ebsley really given nowhere to go, but they've won themselves a corner. In the seventh of the game. And Cousins is coming up. We've had over six minutes. The six minutes minimum awarded by the referee. We've had that. So Edsa will take this. Cousins is in there. Edsa. It goes long. O'Neill is having his shirt pulled off his back. And Beck is there, tangling with Martin. And that's it. It's all over. Full time is finished. Ebsley one. Solihull Moors two. So the first game back here at Stonebridge Road in this uh, season in the National League has ended in defeat to Ebsley. They're back here again on Tuesday when they entertain Aldershot. We hope you'll join us then. And until then, from BBC Radio Kent and me, Charles Webster is bye for now.